Carnival's Princess Cruises will pay a $40 million fine for dumping oily waste into the ocean. It is the largest penalty of its kind in history. The company also pleaded guilty to seven felony charges. Peter Greenberg is here with what prompted the investigation. Peter, good morning. Good morning. A whistleblower discovered the elaborate workaround system on Princess ships three years ago and alerted investigators. The ships were using a so-called magic pipe to divert oily water and then dumping it illegally into the ocean. Investigators charged the cruise line had been dumping thousands of gallons of contaminated water for at least eight years. Our open seas are not dumping grounds for waste. The Justice Department says ship engineers aboard the Caribbean Princess repeatedly polluted the ocean and went to great lengths to cover up their criminal actions. There was a campaign of obstruction in an effort to hide the deliberate pollution of our seas with oily waste. Cruise ships store so-called bilge water, a mixture of water, oil, and other chemicals below deck. They're required to filter it and store it until they get to port, which can be expensive. The DOJ says Princess Cruises used what's called a magic pipe connected to a hose to feed the dirty water into a tank that holds water from the ship's sinks and showers. In some places, cruise lines are allowed to dump that water at sea. A whistleblower turned over these pictures from inside the ship. Investigators say the cruise line used illegal practices on not one, but five of their ships over the eight-year period. We are very sorry for any harm done to the environment. Princess Cruises President Jan Swartz says several employees were fired and many retrained. We have worked very hard to improve and strengthen our operations and learn from our mistakes. We've dramatically changed our shipboard and shoreside fleet operations, organizational structure and leadership. We've invested in millions of dollars upgrading our equipment. It's not the first time a cruise line has been hit with big penalties for similar charges. In the late 1990s, Royal Caribbean paid $27 million in two separate cases, and three of the ship's engineers were indicted. The plea agreement also requires all Princess ships to participate in a court-supervised environmental compliance program. $10 million of the settlement will go toward community service projects to benefit marine environments. Nora? All right, Peter, thank you so much.